We're gonna be building our new power station for our rooftop tent. It's basically gonna be a big battery box slash solar generator. It's gonna be a big version of a Jackery. What we are starting with is a 100 amp hour Renogy battery. We chose to go with the 200 watt solar suitcase as well. This is also by Renogy. It's really well made. The only problem is it's insanely heavy. We do have another video where we go over the battery and the solar panel and more information on that. We'll throw that in the description below. For our box, we actually chose a toolbox and we went with the rigid 22 inch toolbox. This is actually part of a stacking set. This is kind of the middle toolbox. It's just perfect size for a battery. You can also technically lay your battery down on the side and it fits nicely in there too. It's actually pretty rigid for being as inexpensive as it is. On the top, you'll see this has a really nice handle. The cool part is the handle completely folds flat and it does have some of these other latches if you're gonna go with the full stacking system. Say you needed a bigger system, you maybe you wanted to add another battery, you could add the cart below. So directly off the battery, we're gonna have our terminal fuse block. And this is a blue C with a 50 amp fuse which will then be connected by our four gauge wires. This is going to go into our battery cutoff switch, which will then go with these smaller wires. These are also four gauge. This is our 12 volt fuse block. It's got a spot for six. We are going to probably mount this somewhere around here. We have our ring connectors to connect all our circuits to here. We chose these ring connectors because it includes its own uh, heat shrink right on the connector itself. It's not something else we have to buy. We have two of our 12 volt sockets and we got kind of with the dust caps on them. Uh, we also picked these because they include this outer edge. These come with this outer ring, which we can mount to the toolbox. It's just much easier to mount. And we also have a set with two USB A and then one USB C power delivery port. This system's primarily going to be charged with solar, but we ended up going with a Victron Energy Blue Smart Charger, and this is the 15 amp charger. One reason why we chose this is it comes with these alligator connectors, but if you look, it comes with a, a quick disconnect. And then also these ring connectors, so you can hook it right to your battery. Since this is not the primary charging method for this whole system, we're not gonna actually mount this in the box or anything, because this way we'll be able to use this for cars or whatever secondary projects. You may have noticed that we did not include an inverter in this setup, and that is absolutely true. We actually use this little tiny 200 watt inverter that comes on the Jackery. Uh, we've been camping for several years with our rooftop tent trailer, and very rarely do we ever need to actually use this. And going forward, I don't see that changing. But if we needed to, not only you, you could mount a large inverter on the top, or a smaller inverter, inverter inside if you actually needed it. And it looks like the fuse goes all the way to the bottom, then your connection, and then the nuts in here. But we're also gonna include this as our connector for our AC adapter. Where it's placed right now, this flange is hitting the spot. So we're gonna cut out this one and we're also going to cut out part of this one. All right, now we have this part cut out and this part cut out. And we close good, everything looks good. Okay, we marked out where we're going to put our cutoff switch. Cleaning up this outside edge. So we have our cutoff switch mounted in here. So now we'll be able to turn on and off the battery from the outside. The panel here, but we're gonna put a piece of wood up here to give us a place to, to mount things to. This cover goes on here, but the way that these big leads are coming on, they're supposed to come out the top. 
we're going to have to trim off the corner here and then the corner here. Okay, now that we have the base installed, we need to get these plugs. These are pretty simple. They just slide in and then this thing screws on the back. We'll stick some screws in there, but this gives us a spot. That looks pretty good. So we were going to put some more plugs here, but if you look inside, there's an internal structure bar here. So we're going to actually move them over here. So we're going to put one right there. Right in here. These rubber seals actually seem to seal pretty good. I don't like the USB one because it's got these prongs. You have to kind of get in the right place. But if you do it slowly, it stays in there pretty good. Sockets didn't come with any mounting hardware, but we did find these, which just happen to be perfectly the right size that go through there. And that way we don't have a screw pointing through there. These seem to be the perfect size. In case you want to find those. These sockets came with their own cable. Um, they have ends already to stick right on there. They have ring connectors, but they're conveniently just a little too big. So we'll cut that off and we'll stick these on there. On this side. We have a 10 amp fuse in here. So in theory, we should be live. So we'll, no sparks, that's a good sign. Oh, lit up. Yay, it's already charged, but we know it's getting power. Okay, we got all our plugs installed. So we have the USB our two sockets installed and then we have our battery cutoff switch in the winter time we can just turn the battery off completely and have it totally isolated and inside fairly clean we've got our our main fuse which then goes to our dc distribution panel and each of our circuits in there the only thing we still need to add our interface for our solar so this is our solar connector and we need to add a plug in here. So we'll get a flush mount Anderson plug for right here. And we'll mount that in there, right in there. We do also need to get a strap for the battery and otherwise we will be good to go. So if you have any suggestions on what maybe we should do differently or maybe something we should add, uh, definitely let us know down in the comments. If you would like to watch this video, which explains more about our solar setup and why we bought the battery and, and the solar panel, check that video out here. Otherwise, you can check us out at ExploreTrekAdventure.com and we'll see you next time.